yes please yes please sir yeah so before proceeding for further uh, our today's spot is kiran sir uh, before proceeding further i would like to uh, just overview about their uh, contribution in the field of pharma sir is doing phd and uh, sir is did m pharma apart from this sir have 15 years of experience in life sciences industry expertise in pharmacovigilance community system validation and career growth coaching sir i already worked with multinational companies like uh, bioclinica cognigent and uh, he has experience more than 15 years currently he is working as founder as well as ceo of rise tech training systems in which they are providing uh, trainings to the students for medical writing regulatory affairs as well as pharmaco vigilance leading 30 plus trainers with 15 plus experience of industry and 10 young and dynamic team members traveling with the best career growth for b from m from and from the students so thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation please sir start your presentation yeah yeah thank you haman sir and uh, gupta sir uh, for uh, making this platform and i would like to thank uh, isf college uh, management and uh, students who are uh, part of this yeah that was a humble introduction sir thank you aman sir let me start with this session uh, we are uh, sharing this knowledge and this healthcare it careers across india now yeah uh, let me tell you with uh, the very basic things what is uh, healthcare as you know it includes uh, all uh, prof professionals like uh, doctors nurses and uh, pharmacists and uh, uh, doctors and uh, nurses and physiotherapists and dental also we would like to club healthcare it careers and show you a path because most of them you are aware but uh, we are clubbing them and we are uh, showcasing it as a platform for you that is uh, it careers which we are highlighting and uh, 12 problems and challenges faced by freshers we understand that we have around 2000 plus pharmacy colleges in india now every year 5 and 1/2 lakh to 6 lakhs of population is getting passed out and it's very difficult to get a job in time okay we understand that uh, pain points and we have understood and we have preframed and designed these uh, three things for you uh, four parts it is first part is it careers which kind of careers are best and which kind of things you can choose here we are telling you the path and at the same time immediately we are highlighting the problems which are currently faced okay at the same time we want to give you the solution here with uh, say that uh, you can do job search like this you can go like that that is a mindset session fifth one is nothing but the best ways of interview preparation not just showing you the path not just telling you the problems giving you the road map along with road map we want to tell you each and every point how you are supposed to prepare for interviews because interview preparation is uh, not uh, that easy with this competition you are supposed to crack it with a lot of seriousness and lot of preparation lot of ground work goes here being a career gro uh, growth coach it's my pleasure to share my knowledge my 15 plus years of vast experience and what is the qualification for getting into these uh, jobs that is the most important thing along with uh, qualifications what are the most skills required here and we would like to tell you what would be the careers for you and the last comes about uh, rice trainings here yeah this is my whole vast experience initially i have started learning in the clinical research again i moved to pharmacovigilance and i am a certified clinical research professional i am a certified drug safety associate from an uk organization and i have learned uh, computerized system <coughs> validation as well if you see my profile nowhere you will find uh, a core pharma company here most of them are into it profiles and uh, as sar said that uh, we have done around uh, 5000 to 6000 profiles and we have forwarded a lot of students to companies and even this month and next month also we have got around uh, four to five jobs and uh, number of jobs and placements are very norm at uh, rice trainings uh, we are uh, con con consistently performing and we are delivering our uh, students for uh, a lot of uh, healthcare it companies yeah this was uh, meme kind of thing this was my first initial gut feeling that uh, what i'm doing for our profession just to catch your attention we have kept it yeah 
what is healthcare as you know all of these people comes because most of the healthcare professionals are prof, uh, pharmacy professionals choose uh, three to five of uh, careers one is uh, academics one is uh, working in hospitals or working in uh, marketing but we want to say we also have some it jobs we also have some um, technology jobs that's where uh, rice trainings is uh, making difference in a lot of students and uh, careers lives here are those first let me tell you the what are all the trending traditional jobs traditional jobs are nothing but the qa qc production and uh, marketing or uh, being working as a medical representative and uh, those kind of jobs are uh, traditional jobs which we are hearing from past 20 years i've been into this pharmaceutical uh, this area from past 15 20 years before that also we were using more of like traditional things like maximum r and d research and development medical coding and uh, medical coding and uh, regulatory affairs is the maximum you would have heard but we want to make sure that these are all the upcoming trending careers are uh, which are uh, consistently there in market from past 10 years or 15 years even this is going to be feature and this is going to be advanced uh, learning for you trust me these profiles are very good the best part of these uh, profiles is this one if I don't say the benefits of it, you'll not understand uh, why Kiran sir or uh, Amandeep sir have arranged this session for us. Please understand you get uh, five days a week and you'll get uh, work from home options. Your uh, careers are progressive when compared to clinics and academics. You get abroad opportunities. You'll have work-life balance as well. Who don't want to go to abroad? obviously everyone will have aspiration of going to abroad and settle well and earn good money right but if you are working uh, in core pharma companies or working in um, you know, research or academics uh, to be honest you have very little less chances i don't want to discourage you but uh, compared to those these careers are more lucrative more uh, uh, attractive i can say more attractive in the terms of package and uh, more attractive in terms of uh, learning for you just to understand with all these uh, benefits, uh, uh, let me introduce you the problems faced by freshers. Because after uh, I visited around 30 to 35, 40 colleges in person, and after delivering more than 100 plus webinars, uh, when I talk to students, I feel very sad that uh, the first very word everyone use here is, uh, uh, sir, I don't have awareness because I don't have any clue uh, what I am going to do after B Pharma and M Pharma. Yesterday also, yesterday I visited a local pharmacy college in Nellur, Andhra Pradesh. Everyone were uh, clueless. They know that they are going to get their degrees by 2024 or even by 25. What is the challenge here? Lack of awareness. They say that we don't have awareness. If you have awareness, that is still good. Guidance also is missing uh, from uh, academic side you do have guidance but not exact industry perspective and exact industry learning and what is needed for your current job search and current advanced learnings having said that you always have confusion and clarity would be missing because i would come and say that vigilance is good one more speaker will come and say that SAS is good maybe another speaker will come and say medical writing is good Knowingly or unknowingly, there is a number of options now and at the same time, there is some confusion also available in the market. We don't want you to say, don't get confused, but have clarity. Okay, if you talk to Amandeep sir or some industry expert or some of your seniors, you'll get that clarity when you are in MPharm first year or second year while choosing your project also. With all the first three points, what is the fourth point which I'm going to add here is, should you choose institute or not even in 2007 december itself i have chosen an certification program online certification which helped me to land my job fast obviously rather than being a b form fresher or m form fresher what happens here is if you are into this uh, part like uh, any coaching part you are supposed to verify validate and authentic an institute say that if you got a mindset now that okay let me take some course from so and so rice trainings or any other institute you have made your mind that you are supposed to take it before taking that you are supposed to verify validate and authenticate how the course is going to be whether the institute is good or bad you are supposed to check out all these things 
and how many courses you are supposed to choose lot of institutes are giving three courses five courses six courses and it is also is a very confusing factor obviously at rice trainings we give one course two course maximum three courses one course will act as a backup for another course and another course will act as a backup for another course okay this is the first five problems which you are facing or which you will face in the future but my suggestion is take coaching because uh, it's a very competitive world already your seniors and your passing out seniors one year two years three years would not have settled by this time if you are planning to not suffer like them what you are supposed to do is it's always better to join an institute and take their help having said that what is the sixth problem here you will have your interview fear obviously though you are studying very reputed universities very good universities uh, facing interview would be very tough task for everyone you are supposed to overcome it and uh, what about the resume preparation yes that is the toughest task here uh, what about the jobs and the job search information and interview preparation and what about the references what about the communication skills what about the time management what about the moral support especially for interview we are asking you either you capture fear or fear captures you obviously first choice is better resume preparation is very very important task and very good uh, thing okay because at rice trainings we have prepared around 700 plus resumes and out of them around 230 or 240 of them uh, got jobs successfully till date after that we supposed to help them with job search information we provide references and communication skills are a huge gap here so people are coming from uh, good universities or good uh, uh, schools some are the other way we suffer with our uh, local language knowledge and uh, we suffer with our uh, local language slang knowingly unknowingly we speak that not only telugu people any marathi guy or a tamil guy or anyone are uh, stuck with this do understand this these are all the 12 problems which i have written after speaking to more than 2000 students uh, like you after interacting with them they they tell uh, different questions these are all their asks then i decided that okay let me prepare a ppt on this so that uh, i am telling your problems and i am uh, giving you solutions here having said that if i say how should you prepare for interview how should you do your job search yes i have told you 12 problems obviously for 12 problems we are giving you a solution that it's the best way to launch your career fast and get references also and second best way is uh, getting in touch with the college seniors say that one of your senior is working in equia or accenture or uh, quenesca or uh, apotex or uh, whatever the best company you are dreaming job about if you are in get in touch with seniors they are the best ones who can help you but uh, due to good uh, healthy communications or good healthy relationships with uh, a lot of people here uh, we don't find that uh, good uh, emotions nowadays right earlier it was with a lot of emotions a lot of connect and uh, brotherhood and sisterhood relationships nowadays we have with a lot of digital connections it's uh, less emotions and less uh, physical interactions third one is the best thing if you interact with the training and placement officers like Amandeep sir or your faculties or uh, directors sir who is having industry connects so definitely they would have that because they have been in the industry for the past many years if you ask them they will definitely connect you with industry people which most of the students are missing here and the social media obviously you are supposed to take linkedin help here but sad thing is uh, most of the current generation most of the current indian uh, students are using uh, threads instagram or uh, facebook or uh, twitter as their uh, social media handles yes you can use for uh, your social status or your social presence but uh, that things are going in a different way or that is landing you up in uh, different places my sincere request is just to stay connected on linkedin i could see a few students or a few members are connected uh, through linkedin from isf uh, pharmacy college also which is good we have to be connected uh, professionally okay definitely use linkedin and update your resume in company portals like uh, equia paraxel updating resume in that particular places definitely will help you to get into these uh, places here 
and uh, upload uh, updated resume updated resume where can we update it can you please tell me we can update it in uh, now create monster then uh, we have to try jobs through that if you are daily updating uh, uh, session if you are daily updating your resume you will uh, uh, definitely get it you will get uh, an idea how you should do it how you are supposed to take care of this having said that what happens here is if you are updating on linkedin and uh, now cream monster and if you are joining in the relevant groups that also will help you for uh, getting job search information if you are not uh, joining the job search information groups means you will be joining in another groups called uh, uh, food groups or shopping groups or any other groups which might uh, misguide you unnecessarily if you are understanding this right mentorship is most important mentorship is most important here if you have right mentors in your life it might be they might be connected through linkedin even i guide a lot of uh, people through linkedin and uh, facebook and uh, instagram we guide them and we say that yeah we have an institute you can take course or else we tell that this is good this is bad it's up to you and consultation is one part where everyone have to take care of this uh, you have to go to very good consultants if say that uh, if he is a trustworthy and if you can believe him uh, then only uh, you can take it okay then only you are uh, supposed to join those consultations but honestly take help of an institute who can do both who can do job consultation and uh, training also training come consultation last but not least is the best way to get a job is talking to your friends and peers who got jobs recently what i'm trying to say first talk to your friends okay that will uh, uh, help you to get jobs fast okay sir aman sir is this okay i'm going in a normal speed or i'm going bit speed are, are you guys able to follow ma yes sir speed is normal sir so okay. getting... yeah yeah please please because uh, this uh, ppt is big one i am trying to manage in time any doubts or questions you can uh, write down and ask me after the session hey, actually sir uh, i all discuss students at the last uh, here you will be able to proceed sir yeah yeah q and a session is there right sir yes yeah, sir thank you always talking to your uh, friends will help you a lot because they are the one who have given interviews recently uh, because they know that uh, they got jobs recently and they know what is interviewer's pulse okay if you are doing it uh, uh, that will definitely help you ma always remember that uh, go to that places and go to that interviewers and talk to your friends talking to your friends and seniors and taking help of google or quora or youtube will give you lot of works lot of knowledge having said that uh, if you learn through this uh, just like uh, through chat gpt or any artificial intelligence tools and whatever you feel uh, definitely it's going to help you uh, to improve your uh, job search knowledge okay it's not just that uh, no one is helping me or i am in a no man's uh, place and either my college is not helping university is not helping or uh, someone is not helping the best help here what you can do is self help is the best help and at the same time self realization also is the best realization okay i have told you the problems i have told you the methods of doing job search we have told you the road map also now for uh, next 15 20 minutes we are supposed to discuss on interview preparation methods this is nowhere a detailed guide is uh, present here okay uh, honestly speaking this is the best guide i can say 25 methods no one will tell you someone will say that go to google or uh, get some material or something like that but the best way of preparing methods is this is the one method one master method which is uh, working here and making wonders for uh, rice training students these methods we have used it for uh, 
nice training students almost for 230 jobs we have done it we have to check job description and the job profile very clearly then you have to suppose to apply for the job if suppose it is for a clinical research job you are uh, supposed to talk to them and you are supposed to uh, check the job description and apply it then you are supposed to check the company website and get the details for the information you are supposed to work on communication skills it might be tell me about yourself it might be your project explanation it might be a hr negotiation anywhere this is going to help you like anything three places it is going to help you first hr call technical round and the final negotiation with hr obviously third step is very 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 much important so please be aware please be cautious about your communication skills if you are good at subject knowledge if you are good at domain knowledge if you are top at university very good but still work on your communication skills which is going to make huge difference in your career along with that what do you think the fourth point is first impression is the best impression which is you are supposed to tell in structured way how you are supposed to say you are supposed to say it in structured way that means i am so and so i have been post graduated from isf college of uh, pharmacy moga and i have been recently trained from so and so institute and i am very good at coding i am very good at um, like this you have to introduce in a very professional way and we have a structure for it to be honest because we are trying to spoon feed our students because uh, that is a one round which the first round have to get cleared and they have to go to the further rounds that's why we take this uh, round very personally and very seriously and to tell about your project you are supposed to explain it in detail in detail why we are asking you to explain your project in detail means they want to check your uh, communication skills they want to know uh, which kind of uh, projects you have done that's where you are supposed to utilize uh, your project it's always better you write it in 5 to 10 points and uh, keep it in your uh, purse or your handbag or even your hand in mobile also always remember that if you are writing in your project in a better way what you are going to get is your first round or your uh, second round or your final round is going to be cleared if suppose if you have done a project in a pharmacology if you have done your project in pharmaceutics whatever the project is irrespective of the department what you are supposed to do is explain it in a detailed way in a detailed way don't do shortcuts or don't expect uh, uh, shortcuts to happen here always remember that it's going to be added uh, value here value is the uh, most important thing uh, it is uh, very good uh, needed uh, thing for you okay so always remember that it's going to help you and uh, it's going to be useful for you okay domain knowledge is the most important thing along with the theoretical things and along with this uh, domain knowledge stability and uh, bond also is most important what is the stability here honestly speaking if you are uh, joining any company anyone expects you to be staying for at least one year and uh, two years and that is the most important uh, need of the hour lot of students are not having stability they are moving here and there and working in shifts readiness also is important ready for relocation also is important package also is important how you are negotiating is uh, much more important kindly understand that uh, without uh, package uh, uh, negotiations you will uh, not be able to do it you should know how smart you should ask for packages you can say that as per industry uh, uh, as per uh, industry standards or what what else you can say you can say as per the company norms but knowingly and knowingly lot of students know the don't know the reality they will say that i want 5 lakhs 6 lakhs package i want 30000 rupees per month never ever say a figure to hr person 
we request you to not to do that because if you are uh, trying to do that uh, uh, what happens here is uh, obviously based upon your high package expectations uh, they are going to exclude you from the further rounds of interview preparation so please please be careful and please be aware of this and uh, working in shifts is more important ready for relocation is more important and the package norms is most important because you should know the market reality and ground reality and ready for relocation because uh, corona have come it has created most of the times uh, comfort and discomfort also it has given work from home option for everyone only choice here is you are supposed to uh, understand whether it is uh, how much uh, serious it is few because few companies are giving work from home few companies are not giving work from home you should know whether uh, it is uh, required or not okay they will give you and uh, it's always important that uh, relocation is the best choice if they are calling you to offices you are supposed to go if you are not able to go still fine work from home is nowadays of three types one is uh, regular permanent work from home uh, one other another one is uh, it is uh, a uh, hybrid work from home three days uh, work from home uh, two days uh, office hybrid work from home and permanent uh, work from home always understand that it is going to be hybrid in future also but don't expect 100% work from home it depends on companies and if you get experience also there you will get uh, permanent work from home just be very practical and be approachable and don't just directly ask uh, hr who is calling you say that yeah give me work from home give me this much package and your learning will make you a better uh, earning person your uh, learning is always linked with uh, your earning is always linked with your learning so so please please uh, be aware that you are supposed to be uh, practical enough and uh, i feel that this uh, first uh, uh, 10 points are uh, important okay you have to dress well and you are uh, supposed to do this and we are supposed to work here with a uh, lot of confidence you are supposed to dress well and you are supposed to do this uh, professional things and you are supposed to maintain eye contact here then uh, what else uh, you can do here you have to be thorough with uh, what eye contact and you have to make some little smile with the hr and make some little conversation here okay always remember there that uh, reason from for uh, why are you moving from current job also okay you have to understand that you are supposed to go through the proper resume contents you are answerable for the courses and certifications so you can update your resume with anything saying that uh, i know this i know that and everything you can manage or manipulate uh, interviewers but they are smart enough to ask you all questions here say that uh, how good are you or uh, how uh, uh, good enough are you they'll ask you interview questions uh, here and there so believe that and uh, always be active and attentive and aggressive with uh, with your interview preparation always try to maintain eye contact never miss on that one more thing you have to be very honest and you have to maintain a lot of integrity why integrity means uh, without integrity or uh, true factor no one will trust you right okay you have to avoid uh, telling false or lies during interviews and you have to maintain a lot of authenticity okay <clears throat> one second why should we hire you you are supposed to answer that you should say why oh, as a person what value can you add for the organization any common questions which they will ask you and you are supposed to be make available yourself in a very calm place because a lot of students are missing on the very basics very basic hygiene that they are in some noisy places and uh, they are uh, from different places 
always uh, be aware that you are should be available to uh, people with a lot of uh, availability for the interviewers and you have to use your wifi maybe you might be connecting this uh, session from your mobiles maybe from homes everything is fine uh, still uh, the interviewer doesn't feel the, the discomfort of uh, uh, logging in from mobile lot of students uh, knowingly or unknowingly they make a mistake saying that uh, this is not good that is bad this internet speed is good uh, sometimes uh, your data also is gone from your side and uh, there is lot of issues right always ensure that you are connecting from wifi and having that comfort there <clears throat> and use laptop with good battery why we are uh, highlighting why we are uh, taking care of these kind of uh, silly silly things also for you is because these are all the current challenges a lot of incidents where we come across with our students saying that the laptop battery is not fully charged and the power backup is not present and uh, <clears throat> you have to be flexible and you can be adaptable not just that if you've been trained on a farm covalence you've been certified in a medical coding there is no guarantee or warranty that you are going to do job in the same profile right always you have to be flexible and as uh, darwin theory also says that uh, initially being a fresher it is going to be a struggle for existence we try to exist there saying that uh, we are supposed to get this job or something like that after that once you are experienced you are going to have it's going to be uh, survival of the fittest whoever are the fittest uh, they will be able to work in this companies or uh, colleges or uh, whatever it is but always remember uh, you have to be flexible and adaptable but now as per uh, darwin's latest thing it is uh, not a strongest or wealthiest species survives which one is going to survive better it's going to be a flexible and adaptable uh, species which is going to survive better survive better always remember that uh, these kind of uh, things will uh, change your mindset a lot and uh, uh, will prepare you for uh, future okay you have to understand why you have been being, being uh, prepared for future is uh, being an educators being your teachers it's our responsibility to make your mindset and uh, make your uh, future ready along with being flexible and being adaptable what is the best mindset you should have here is uh, applying job through right reference if you are not applying job through right reference or uh, right skill set uh, uh, what happens here is what happens here is uh, uh, if you don't apply it with right reference uh, you'll not be able to get jobs obviously without reference uh, i don't go to colleges even i don't give webinars we have right references it might be through linkedin it might be through facebook or with one or the other reference only we are doing webinars or seminars to establish healthy a training ecosystem or environment uh, for pharmacy students having said that uh, uh, try jobs through training you'll see the difference okay if you are uh, trying jobs on your own yes you can get jobs but still if you are trained or certified or if you are being referred by anyone uh, uh, through this uh, process definitely you will see that uh, difference and uh, you will see that uh, understanding here okay uh, definitely you are going to see the difference and last but not least the point which i would like to add for this uh, session is uh, uh, take mentor help take mentor help and senior help in the industry and uh, make them as a, your guide or a mentor okay it might be mentorship might be for your initial job it might be for your uh, first job or last job but always have mentors and seniors in your life uh, so that uh, you see that difference okay you see that uh, difference uh how you are going to proceed okay and uh, with this uh, very simple presentation i would like to say who are all qualified definitely yes all these people all healthcare professionals and life sciences people and uh, what are all the skills you should have to get these jobs very good soft skills and uh, pharmacology knowledge and what else one second yeah pharmacology knowledge is must for you to get into this uh, kind of careers safety narrative writing and aptitude and reasoning is must 
and you will get jobs in these kind of companies very good uh, healthcare it companies and cro's and icon and uh, everywhere uh, you will get into these kind of profiles these are all the salaries which you can think of initially 2 to 2 and a half lakh 3 lakhs even 4 lakhs 5 lakhs depending upon the companies here are all the placement details it is a vast number actually around 230 plus resources uh, we were able to send to these many companies and we have two programs one is a career launch program one is career growth program i always recommend you to take a career launch program because career launch is always easy because you are very young minds and very young and energetic dynamic mindsets where at least you listen to us and you listen to our mentorship say that if you are in b form final year or m form final year uh, maybe you might be passing out in 23 or 24 this is the right time that uh, you make your decisions and uh, that's what i, I always say it should you should try jobs with uh, triple r say that with the right skill right reference and right time you need to apply this is the qualifications for freshers which you can launch your career with us or uh, any other institutes outside and uh, knowingly or unknowingly if you are moving your career into research or uh, practice or industry or uh, uh research qqc research what happens here is uh, there is uh, some gap of uh, lesser salary as i said in hospitals also we find uh, lesser salary but uh, going a period of time we understand that uh, salaries are less i know faculties who are having 12 years 13 years experience came to me we moved them from teaching to medical writing i know people who came to me with 5 years experience we moved them to it industry i know persons who were into dental practice for 8 years and they did not find growth and they came to me and why we are highlighting is we want to say that rice training is there for healthcare professionals not just for freshers it is for upskilling also this is the most important thing because a it person or a btech technology person upgrades or upskills himself for uh, uh four to five skills uh, in his it career how many skills four to five careers how many of you know that uh, there is upskilling part here most of them join in uh, qa qc uh, and they get retired in the same qc department after 30 years or 40 years but in it industry it's not like that if you are supposed to uh, if you don't upgrade yourself consider you are you as outdated that means if uh, if you see in it sector for btech students they keeps on updating their skills they will learn java they will learn python they will learn a uh, lot of skill set that kind of mindset is missing for uh, pharmacy sector especially i have seen if you see my career chronicle i have learned around 4 to 5 skills past 15 years Com- clinical research pharmacovigilance computerized system validation digital marketing social media marketing domaining now i am doing uh, working as a career growth coach and i am a speaker that means i have acquired and i have showed enthusiasm and learning zeal towards eight uh, plus uh, skills over a period of time but uh, if you are doing learning those kind of skills is first thing your job is and career is secured and uh, your brain is always active and we are ensuring that uh, we are also doing good okay then you have to understand what is the importance of this careers and launching these careers in time timing when you should uh, take uh, these uh, courses we have seen lot of students are proactive whoever are in b form final year or m form final year they are proactive and smart enough nowadays you have access to e learning and edtech companies are coming lot of uh, companies are uh, working together and they are uh, trying to add value Uh, those are uh, available and accessible for everyone but proactive and smart people are uh, taking courses uh, online and they are settling well fast and active people also they are uh, doing it good by taking courses after their b form or m form course completion and inactive people are not at all uh, taking decisions and uh, these things and uh, this kind of three mindsets i have observed uh, from past 5 years exclusively 
and this is the one uh, in part 2 part 1 you have seen that uh, we have done uh, something great for our profession right this is the one uh, you can consider me i am struggling to understand students mindset nowadays uh, i am not able to catch the pulse of them uh, even after 3 hours or 4 hours of uh, sessions uh, in some colleges we don't get admissions but still we try to say that this is the options this is the careers and students are not willing to get relocated from one place to another place they are in very comfort zone and they feel happy that i should stay at my home i should stay at only punjab or ramoga college nearby college i should get work from home and the laptop should come in a, a courier to me please please don't be with that such kind of mindset if you have that mindset please remove it after this session at least and packages packages yes you can compare yourself your packages with any mbbs doctor or with an any it healthcare professional but always remember that always remember that be realistic be realistic with your approach and understand uh, uh, what is happening packages also never ever say that uh, this is going to be my package or this is going to be uh, uh, my package always remember that it depends upon your skill set and the right skill set if you are not able to do that how are you going to understand the market Along with these three things, what is the biggest challenge I am trying to pull as a Bahubali for uh, healthcare IT careers? Interview preparation matters because a lot of students are not able to pull this uh, right because they are not able to understand. We say that interview preparation is this, uh, we say that these are all interview questions and these are all this and you are supposed to say that it is mandatory that without interview preparation. How are we supposed to prepare you? How are we supposed to prepare you? It's mandatory that interview preparation is good, should be good. Your domain knowledge should be good and your skill set should be good and uh, it should be very good. With all these challenges, I am trying to pull our uh, healthcare IT professionals and I want to make you place in a better place. And uh, our biggest battle is with our uh, battle is with what is India's biggest problem? Can you say, guys? Is it uh, laziness or uh, employment or unemployment? What is the biggest uh, problem for healthcare profession? It's going to be unemployment. What is our mission? Our biggest war is with the closest people. Who is that? Again, it's the B Farm students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Amandeep, sir. I'll hand over the session to you now and ask me any questions here. So, first of all, I would like to thank your respected Kevin, sir, for accepting our invitation for the lectures. Sir, have delivered the things in very precise manner. Any questions you can ask me, Ma. I can stay here for uh, five more minutes. Sir, we have time, right, for QA and A? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, please, Ma, please go ahead and ask questions so that we are uh, feeling happy and we want to make sure that uh, you are going with this session. Uh, yes, dear all. Now, session is uh, open up for all of you. Please ask some queries to your job either you're from qa qc or shoot department sir will answer it very carefully for oh, sure. please please this session is exclusively arranged for you you are uh, supposed to understand this please go ahead Anish, with your questions ma what's your career planning and uh, Anish, are you there animesh Kaurav. Sir, before uh, questions from students, I have uh, my personal questions. So, for sure, example, sir. in case of BFARM, whenever mm -hmm. we uh, provide a, a students opportunities to... Mm -hmm. Sir, your voice is breaking, sir. But, sir, students are one that they have already spent four to five lakhs on degree. So, sir, what kind of feasibilities are there even though we are 
try to find out the various MNC who are working for a, a good pattern to the company. Hello. Am I audible, friends? Students, can I go ahead and answer this question? Hello, Amandip sir, are you there? I think it's got hanged, right? Yes, sir, please. Sir, you are not audible, sir. Sir, you told that uh, they are spending degrees and uh, what is the visibility of jobs, right? Actually, sir, uh, being a placement head, we are trying a lot to find MNC companies. We have, even though we have placed so many students in MNC, but sir, as a B-form initials, they are not providing a, uh, we can say that enough salary. For example, approximately 8,000, 8, 9,000. 10,000 or 11,000 kind of thing. Yes, yes, sir. So, sir, my yes, concern sir. is how this can be a feasible for further. 